by by now you might be wondering uh, why I have half a beard and what kind of bet uh, did I lose. Many years ago, I was uh, badly burned. Uh, I, I'm, I was burned in about 70% of my body. Uh, most of my body is covered with scars, including the right side of my face. So now that we've covered facial hair, we can talk about the reason we're here, which is talking about our relationship with money, what we do well and what we don't do so well. Imagine that tonight you're going to dinner. It's an expensive dinner, it's $150, and you're paying with either credit card or with cash. Which one feels worse? Right? Most people say the cash feels worse. Why is it? What happens with a credit card that doesn't happen with cash? Well, what happens is that the timing of payment and consumption doesn't coincide. With cash, we pay at the same time and consume at the same time, almost. With credit card, we consume at one time, but the payment we're only signing and we'll pay it later. What happens when consumption and payment overlap, our enjoyment goes down? Every time we buy something, uh, we basically have an exercise of predicting how happy will this thing make us. I'm going to buy a sandwich, how happy will it make me? I'm going to buy cake, how happy will it make me? I'm going to buy a new phone, how happy will it make me? And so on and so forth. It's always future looking and, and we expect how, how happy it will make us and therefore we decide to buy or not to buy. Uh, we, we don't so often uh, do the opposite exercise of looking at things that we bought and say, how happy did it actually make us? Two thousand years ago, how did people save? In goats, goats, chickens, right? And what's the nice thing about saving in goats is you can come home from the office and you can see how many goats your neighbor has. There was a time where we could compete on savings. But then we invented money and then we invented digital money. And we took this whole category called saving and insurance and we made it what? Invisible. And we took the category called spending and we made it extra visible. is to think about what mechanisms could we create to make it visible for ourselves, maybe visible to our, to our family, so that we get a bit more pride and motivation around savings. Invest in you. Ready, set, grow. CNBC and Acorns.